Hello, this is Mr. Grinder, and welcome to another episode of Coaster Facts Reviews, the series where we look at upcoming roller coasters, rides, and attractions. Now, this this episode we're continuing on our our our, our list of co of Giga coasters because again, it's the the year of the Giga, and for this episode, we are looking at Steel Dragon 2000. Uh, the the currently the world's longest roller coaster. It's actually has held that record for for 20 years now. This is this coaster is massive. It's 300, 318 foot tall. Goes goes 95 miles an hour and has 8,133 feet of track. In fact, this thing is just this thing is just phenomenal. It's just how how massive it is. It's again, it's the biggest roller coaster out. It's it is it's the largest roller coaster out there. In fact, it is actually the last roller coaster that ever held the big three. Big three being the tallest, longest, fastest. When it first because when it first opened, it not only was it the longest, but it was also the tallest and the fastest. And so that record was broken when Top Top Dragster was built in two thousand two. So. So it lost tallest and fastest, but it but it still held held the record for the longest. In fact, I'm surprised that it's actually held, it's held the record for the longest this long. It's a it's a phenomenal that it, that it's held that held has it still holds the record. Now, now on that note, let's get into the video. The, the video is from Theme Park Review, and and here we go.
Yeah, that was interesting. Again, this coaster is... Second. Alrighty, that's interesting. Again, this is this coaster is is pretty. It's again, it's the longest orchestra in the world. It does show, show. It, I mean, it just keeps going on and on and on. On, but it does have a few good pointers. I mean, that first drop is just huge. I mean, the people who made it, D.H. Morgan, did do a good job in trying to build the, the world's longest coaster. I mean, unlike most long, like, record, record coasters that held the record for being the longest, it, this thing does not... This thing's not boring. It does it definitely looks like it does a pretty fair amount, and it, the thing that really gets me is that, unlike most gigas that, that don't... Door that focus mainly on speed and and just getting and zipping you through crap, quick transitions. This thing does look like it does focus a lot on airtime, um, which is kind of unique for gigas in terms of gigas. I mean, again, gigas mainly focus it usually focusing on on speed and and just taking you through quick transitions with airtime being a secondary thing, and kind of like the kind of the opposite of what you expect for hyper coasters, which is exactly what this thing feels like a giant hyper coaster or the, which for a hyper coaster usually it, they they are focusing more on airtime and and second is quick transitions and and size and speed and it, it doesn't mean that this thing is bad if anything it, it I say it's, a, it's even better. It makes it even better because I love hyper coasters. They're, they're some of my favorite coasters out there. They're in oh, well, overall, but as well as that, but this thing is just again, it's just phenomenal. The only thing I don't don't like is after that second helix structure is that there's that very long and drawn out, drawn out bank turn. Now, it's just boring. And then there was a quite couple then there was a followed by a long straight a piece of straight track so I want to but that's the only big issue I have for the coaster everything else about it is just a, it's just pretty good it's really just, I, I just have to say it's pretty good good and again the, the air, there's a lot of airtime hills and not just in size the airtime hills are not just in size but they're also in quantity now, on the way back there there's just multiple airtime hills going over, 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 and going through the two tunnels, and just it does do its best to it does do its best to try to keep the rhythm moving. But on the way back there, after the mid course, say there you just have, there's only only so much that you can do because you got to make it all the way back to the station. And 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 I did and it did seem like they were trying their best to not add a second a second climbing hill if needed. Yeah, but on that, on that note, this has been the Mystic Rider, and I'll see you next time.